Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Machine Key in the Third Era. Now, I just quickly put in the depot right there so that we can... So you guys don't have to watch that. I put in all the... Oh, dear, and I forgot to go into this view real quick first. But I did put in all the signals, so it should be good. Now, the biggest issue with it at the moment is that we need it to have the ability to cross right here, I do believe. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll put a signal right there. Now, whether it needs to cross back, I'm not sure. And to do so, the best thing to do is probably just to bridge it. But to create a bridge like that, it would have to branch off like right there. Go over here, like right here. And then bridge over, and then it would be able to reconnect on this side. Which might just be what we have to do. But for now, that is good to get everything running. Because we just need the log mill, or the log train, or the sawmill train to get over to the other side. We can have it go to the tool station first. So, so we are going to get the porter, because that's all we have at the moment. Correct. Correct. Oh, oops, I was in that. Locomotive works. Yeah, because we can't we can't buy anything more. So train two. Wagons. So just a bunch of stu Studinger. Stoidinger? I think that might be Stoy. I I could be wrong. It's been a while since I took my German class, so. I'm pretty sure that m that's probably Stoidinger. Kind, kind of like how it's Deutschland. And I probably did not say that terribly well. We do have up to six, so this is going to be a massive, massive train. Okay, we have all that orders. Add this as a station. And then add this as a station. And go. Excuse me, I am still a little sick. I re-came down, or it kind of reinfected me a little. Because it went up into my sinuses. And then when you sleep, depending on how you sleep, and I was sleeping on my back to try to keep my sinuses clear. And it just made all of the bad stuff just reinfect my throat. So I do have a sore throat because of that. Now most of this is straight, so this train should be able to get up to a decent speed. But it is hauling a lot of items. Now, actually, let's take a look. Does its max weight actually increase when it gets logs? Because that would be a thing I think you should have to consider. Oh, also, on the tip screen as it was loading in, you actually don't need a station as long as your train. It does get heavier. This thing is going to be crawling. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, it is barely going to be moving. And go. It gets up to about 10 pretty quickly. And then it starts struggling a little. So, yeah. I think we'll, we'll get more powerful trains, so... I don't think this will be a forever problem, so I'm going to leave it as such. So, wagons, we need the Ronghofer now. So, one, two, three, and it has to be under six. So, I think, yeah, that's about as good as we're going to do. So, orders, we want it to go down here first. And then back over here. Oh, it's going to be crawling up the hill too. Okay, start up. Do you even get up to max speed? Not really. <laughs> yeah, not really at all. The distance is too short for how heavy it is. For it to actually be able to get up to max speed. So. And I did set up your orders right, right? Yeah, five to three. Wait, what happened to four? Oh, this is four. Derp. 
Okay. So, problems I'm going to... I, I'm guessing is this hill. And this hill probably. It'll have a little bit of time to speed up, but... It's not going to be that good, so... Anyways, so... That is dropping off. Let's see if we can't build any of these extensions. All of them require wood to some degree, so that would be a no. But it looks like everything is actually running fairly well. I think I need a signal over here. Oh no, that was... Oh, because I was thinking this was red because it's over, because the train over here. No, it's red because the train in there. Okay, never mind. It's all working. It's all working well. Hmm. So our little money maker is making money. Let's speed this up. Because we do need some of those tokens quite badly. Okay, how fast are you going? Oh, you get up to max speed because of that hill. Okay. You can hold 42, and there's only 36, so as expected, not quite enough. That hill allows you to get up to a relative speed, but this is probably going to kill it so bad. Oh, you can actually make it up as long as you're not stopped. Oh, very nice. Okay, so... Okay, everything's working. We're getting wood tokens quite nicely. Can we increase anything over here? Five into three. So that's about 50% of the wood becomes tokens. For this, that would be five divided by three. So that would be essentially 10 divided by six. Or no, the other way around. 6 divided by 10. So that's about 60% becoming what I need it to. So that is a little more efficient. So we will actually build that. But let's flatten that out real quick. Oops. And I did not mean to clear out everything as I did. Furniture workshop. Right there. So that, that will make it a little more... A little more precise so then we have this coal mine up here what is your elevation my good sir you are 18 so it's gonna have to go up five excuse me I will be trying to cut out all the sound from me coughing and such so let's level this out let's give this side as much time as possible to for it to get as fast as it can so we're gonna have it come out here and we're setting up the coal at the moment for this so now let's see here this gets really steep really fast and so down to 13 Although that's not a terrible slope. Although I am going to have to dig out this down to 13 as well. 13, 13. But it does kind of follow the hill. So that's good. Um, And then maybe turning out flat right here. Because... Remember, we kind of want to balance on the hill what side is which. And that will, in the end, make it cost less to actually build all of it. Which means that we need this lower, that lower, and this one lower. Oh, oops. Uh, got down to 13, and then I messed up. Okay. Okay. So we have it going across there. Excuse me. My nose. 
Oh, hundred dollars. Collect. Buy new locomotive. That's a ridiculous ridiculous locomotive for me to have bought timber to any tool works we'll get that quickly enough deforestation near paisley well, i'm not going to see any names from that far out okay let's click where is paisley oh way over here with no plank station nearby. Nope, we're not going to be able to help you. I'm sorry, my good sir. You are just way too far out there. Okay, so let's get back to this. Because I did want to finish the coal by today. Because remember, we do want to kind of be getting through this at a slightly faster rate. 14 down to 13. Actually, increase this to 13. We'll have it go along the wall right here. 12, 13. We'll need to kind of curve around this. So, it'll need to go like that. And then it'll need to do one of these, I do believe. Yes. Oh, but yeah, as I was saying in the tooltips, the station doesn't actually have to be that long. Things will just load slower if it isn't. So, but anyways, let's start flattening this out. Oh, that's at 17. 17 would be a lot nicer than 18. Lower gain, meaning that it's... Or lower increase in altitude, so it isn't as bad. Oh gosh, sorry guys. I will be going through, so you're not going to hear any of that. And I'm going to be silencing it. It's going to add, because I don't normally watch the videos all the way through. So, when I'm editing them, because there's not really much reason to, but I'm going to have to today, so... If you could imagine an hour more work just to just to silence my sniffles. <laughs> hmm. Um, thirteen. Thirteen. Now it's this one that's gonna have to connect into that. So it's gonna have to go along there. And I do believe that this is, well, no, this is not the point. Right here is the point to have the elevation change. So, like, let's see that again. So we do need this one clear. Down to 13. Down to 13. That going down. So let's look at that again. Okay, so it's going down to 13. I think this one as well. Oh, that is elevated a little bit still. Yep, right there. And then this one needs to be 13 as well and then as it gets around that corner we can have it start heading up and then that just goes into there like that okay good 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 so let's have this go around oh dear okay um station we need the station first is that six it's costing more for the station oh because i'm demolishing a tree Okay. Oh, no. It goes right up to here, which is bad because we can't have it like that right there. Oh, dear. Okay, we're going to have to figure out the elevation matching somewhere else here. Oh, no, we can actually drop that one. Because right here... Needs to be this. Okay, so. 
Let's look at this again. Cannot build on rock. So, it would have to go all the way around to there. But it can start going down right about there. And that would need to be like that. So it evens out like that. Okay, and I do believe this first portion can actually be like that. I just need this portion to be flat. So if I pull that up, I pull that up all the way. I do believe that will work. Yes, it will. Okay, and so this can be elevation change right there, but this was the 16 has to be like that, which means that this has to be up at 16, 15, 16, and then this needs to be up like that. Very good. And I can't do that because the track is in the way. Nope, not the thing I clicked. Okay, get rid of those. So, we want to have this go like that. Now, technically, this could be a flat, or not flat, but elevation changing. But right here cannot. So going into right there like that, let's get rid of these tracks as well. So then this goes like that, which is good. And then it is back to where it needs to be. Okay, so that was complicated. <laughs> okay, so that needs to go up right there. And then Let's see here, this is 15, so that needs to be 15, 15. This side needs to be up one more. Okay, so that should be able to go up all the way. Very good. And this just needs to be elevated. Oh my goodness. We got it done. To some degree. We got it done. But man, is that complicated just to get into that station. Whew. Anyways, let's pull this out to right there and let's have it bend. Why are you, why would you try to bend like that? That makes no sense. Okay, and then into there, let's set up our standard signals. So technically you could go through, but there's really no reason to. So it's going that way. This one's going that way. And I'm not even sure how to measure this out. So I'm going to want a train on this before I set up any more of the signals. So let's grab Depot 2. There we go. Engines, a porter with... Now we have the wood to do the lintz, and I do believe it is, it's actually lighter too. So we need, yeah, we have the wood, we'll throw it into this at the moment. Oh gosh, there's going to be a lot of these. Because it can be up to six long. Ah, uh, only up to that though. Okay, oh, but we can, we can fit a Talbot on the end. I think we will. That makes it as long as feasibly possible okay add station you can actually just go all the way through into there and then back to there so start and you are actually moving pretty fast those cars must be pretty light yeah they are under 70 which I believe these empty are 72 yeah okay so 
yeah, there's uh, the cars are quite a bit lighter for that. Okay, so let's have this running at normal speed so that we can approximate the where I'm going to have to put another signal. I'm thinking right here, but I could be wrong. Oh, that was close. But to be fair, yeah, uh, I don't like putting it on the hill because it slows it down. But you know what? That's how it's got to be. Okay, so then on the way back, we'll take stock of how much or how long it is. Should get up a lot of speed on the way back. So there should be no problem with hauling the heavier down the hill, which is actually a good thing. So, so I'm saying, I'm thinking about right here or right here, but we'll see. Yes, no, oh wow, oh wow, it has to be back here, <laughs> okay then, okay, I think that's good. You know what, we're just going to put this right here and get rid of this one. There we go. And there we go. So now we have wood and coal tokens being created. So we should be able to advance to the next age in just a moment here. Let's see if we can't increase the ability of the... Hmm, not so much. Not yet. Five into two. Three into one, so that's a third. Five into two is 20%, which is actually worse. No, it's better. Because you're using five coal rather than six to make two. So, okay. I just derped that a little. Okay, we need one more... Hall of the planks, please. We are draining everything at the moment too, so it's so the trains are more than capable of handling all of the resources that are traveling around. Okay, and that should allow us to get the heating plant. You know what? Like that. That just makes it look nice. Okay, so, yeah, so we're using up everything in all of these, so, coal, lumber, delivery, 50%, we're almost there, U, extensions, tree nursery, oh wow, that was two, I thought it was only going to be one, <laughs> whoopsies, clearing, we could do that. No. Yeah. That was lovely. Excuse me. Actually, never mind, because you probably aren't going to hear what happened. <laughs> Just hacking my lungs out is fine. <laughs> this illness is so strange, though, because it... It really... Really was, like... Yeah, it's just, it started in my bronchial tubes, and then it moved to my sinuses. Now it's in my throat. Oh my gosh. Make it stop. <laughs> um, I think like that would work. We don't need a toy shop, because we don't need money. It would be 50%. This is one-to-one, -one, just straight up. That is amazing. It does take a while, though. But it is one to one. This is sixty-six percent. So this would be fifty percent, which would be not as efficient, but it would get more of the wood going. Now what about over here? There was one more that we could do, the lumberjack. So is this working as effectively as possible? Yes, it is. Okay. 
So I can't complain about that. We are doing as much as feasibly possible with the what we have. Our trains are actually collecting every... Actually, is this building more before it gets back? It is now. Okay. So extensions, freight loading. Oh gosh, we need so much for all of this. We'll get into the next age in a moment. Let's make this as efficient as possible so that we can effectively have all of the resources that we would need. So, but yeah, this is now, this is now building, excuse me, faster or that we're getting more logs than we can move now. Oh dear, I'm out of water. <laughs> How much is left in the video? Oh, not too much longer. I can hold out. Uh. Anyways. So, we need 80 for the freight station. And I think we need that now. Because we need to load the logs faster. So this is actually meant to be on like that, where this is right up to the cargo wagons. Is there anything else that we could use? Nope, it does not. Oh, well, a storage building, but that's only for capacity. If we can offload this train fat or load it and unload it, actually we need 80 more for this one for loading speed as well. So that's going to be tri quite troublesome you uh coal storage that will just s flat out speed you up maintenance shed and uh, the tunnel support needs log actual logs so i'm hesitant about that one at the moment so yeah let's get the maintenance shed we'll put it back here and this is so hilly they're actually all on different levels so hopefully that will speed that up and we do have this on as fast as feasibly possible so and we're just making money so I think we're good okay drop it off and this is definitely working faster than that train can actually get them. So I think this is good for now. It would, we would need 70 for the storage, which would be that inefficient transfer. Steam sawmill would be nice, but not very effective at the moment. And to get that, we would actually need to drive the rails around and reconnect like on this side and then this one would just go straight across probably. So it's gonna be a little weird uh, to get timber up to here and coal down to here. So, <laughs> but do we have the 80? We do, so let's get this freight loader. I do believe it does work for unloading speed too. So, we should be getting that much, much quicker now. So that looks good, which is which comes to be a pain when you need the hoppers to unload. It's a little weird, but anyways, that needs loading speed too, just because. Um, can Oh, we can actually get this expansion. Let's save up for 50 and see if we can't start renovating the trains, too. Because if we can upgrade to the, the one that we we're using at the end of the last series, then that will actually be very effective at doing stuff. <laughs> My brain kind of faded there for a second in terms of words. Sorry about that. Yeah, it can hold so much more, so many more planks than we're producing at the moment. 
Oh, we would need an unload station over here, too. But, anywho, let's get this expanded and see if we have the... I normally like to do it like... Ooh, I can do it like that. No, but you know what? That would look stupid, so let's just lower it so it will look a bit better. But that was the alarm, so that is about it for the episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like as it does help the channel and do subscribe if you're not already to catch the next episode as it comes out. No, we only have the Russian at the moment, so we would need to go into the next age to be able to get anything more. But if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. But for now, that's it. I'll leave the game running a little bit so I can get all the extensions we need. And I will see you in the next one where we will be going into the early Steam Age immediately as we start the episode. So thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.